It's Adam Goldfein bringing you the legal information that you need, especially if you've been injured. I'm talking with Richard Griffin, one of Atlanta's top personal injury attorneys. Now, Richard, you're not necessarily Atlanta's top automotive accident attorneys. You're a personal injury attorney. What's the difference? Well, we handle all different kinds of claims. If you are injured in a car wreck or a motorcycle accident or a big truck accident, or if you are hurt due to a slip and fall or due to a dog bite or if you're hurt on the job, you have a worker's comp claim. If you have an injury or disability that enables you, uh, prevents you to be able to work for over a year, then you may be entitled to social security disability. So we handle all of those different types of claims. I never realized how complicated it was and, and sometimes those claims may overlap. They absolutely can and that can be very complicated even you know if you have an attorney, let alone if you don't. I mean certainly what you have to do is, for example, if you were on the job in a company vehicle that was involved in a car accident and the negligent party was someone who was not a coworker, then you could have a worker's comp accident because you got hurt on the job doing your job duties. You'd have a personal injury accident because you were hurt due to the <laughs> negligence of someone else. Right. And so that really controls how that case needs to proceed. So it's really important that you get the legal advice that you need before you settle one or another part of a claim. Well, I think a lot of people, you know, they just pursue one or the other. They don't realize that there are two different claims with two different settlements. Also, in that example, uh, if you are hurt on the job, then you really need to go to workers' comp authorized doctors so mm -hmm. that workers' comp has to pay for the treatment. If you go to a doctor that is a personal doctor that isn't on the posted panel or authorized, then that's something that on the comp case is going to be negatively impacted in a huge way. So, so if somebody's injured, let's say they're injured at work or they uh, slip and fall uh, on the tennis court or the neighbor's dog bites them and they're not certain if they have a claim, right? They're just not sure, but they know they were hurt. What should they do? Well, they should certainly give me a call and I will absolutely give them a free consultation. You know, first of all, we got to find out all the facts of your case and find out if you have a case at all. If you do, I'm going to let you know that and I'm going to let you know what I think the case is worth. And if you have any problems or questions, I'm going to answer all those at no cost to you. So if somebody that you know or you yourself have been injured, it could be a slip and fall. As Richard said, you could have been on a bicycle or a skateboard or a motorcycle. Could be a car. Could even be at work. Make sure that you protect your rights. Now, here's what you can do. You can call the number on the screen. You can speak to Richard directly. You can go to InjuryAtlanta.com if you want to do it via the web. And if you haven't been involved in an accident, what I'm recommending you do is put that phone number in your cell phone so you always have somebody you can turn to, God forbid, someone uh, that you know or a loved one is injured. Because at a time of an accident, you need to have somebody that you can turn to that you can trust for the advice that you actually need.